I'm a journalism student and uh, I have too much love for filmmaking. That is why I came here to Umbaji to improve my skills because uh, majorly in journalism, they don't give you much apart from the theory part of it and nothing much, nothing practical. Here in filming school, you start right away from step number one of production. You learn everything as you practice it, unlike school at the universities or elsewhere. The style of teaching here is engaging, it's interactive. Here I get to handle the equipment myself. I get to do things that I've never done in class for the three years that I've been at campus. I get to interact with people, do projects that I never thought I would ever do. We are taught by people who are professionals. Like, they show you what they have done and, and really see what they are teaching you that it's real. Rather than the, the previous teaching where somebody will or a lecturer will, will be giving you theory, things he has not even experienced before. I find it's to the point, really. The camera is in the room, you can walk around with it. Um, the equipment is there for you to actually learn how to handle it. So I think it's spot on in every way. Um, and of course there is reference, you have films that you can refer to, and so you have a, a standard that you have set out there. So you have to read a lot also to understand everything that you know you need to know about um, making the films. I was so bleak about sound, uh, but when I came here I realized there's so much, there are so many ways you can manipulate sound in uh, filmmaking. Sound is measured in decibels, you know decibels. Yeah. One noise is equivalent to 40 dB. Anything that actually vibrates the particles in the air produces sound. But the sound that is produced also has intensity. How, how loud is the sound you are producing? Depending on how much our ears can handle. I love how film comes together. I love how it's created and uh, what it inspired me mostly was to learn the process how to make those films i used to think uh, this whole work handheld work for the production crew is for men that i can't hold a camera i can't swing a boom i even didn't know what a boom was but then when I got here, I realized it's more to that. There is more. I can actually learn all at the same time. I expected to learn how to use a camera, which I have. I expected to learn how to do research before carrying out uh, shots of a documentary. I expected to learn how to deal with sound, and I've learned that also. I expected to also learn how to deal with light when filming, and I've also learned that. One thing I knew I was going to, 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 to improve on whatever I had. On the basics of camera work that I had, I knew I was going to improve. On the basics of editing, I knew I was going to get out and I can edit anything that I'm handed. And uh, I think for now, I've really met my expectations. Because my Trust me, not anyone can take on you when you're just green like me because I came knowing nothing. But I thank God that Tim took me in and at least I've improved a lot. It's short, it should have taken at least another six weeks. Uh, because it's interesting, every bit of it is interesting and you know you can't just learn something in a week. 